Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video, we're going to cover Emacs and some of the keyboard combinations that we can use while you're editing text. So I have a file here. It's actually two blogs that I pasted it into a text file called sample.txt. I'll include a link to that in the description below in case you want to download this file and follow along. I'll also include the key shortcuts that I'm going to use. So I've got my cursor down here by links. I'm going to get to the top of the file by doing Alt and then the back arrow or Alt Shift comma. Okay, I'm at the top of the file now and I see I have a review of Emacs Markdown mode. That's the title and then there's a paragraph below that, but there is no space. So I want to create a space. So to get down a line, I can type Control N, and that'll move me down a line, and then I can hit Enter, and that gives me a space. If I want to go up, I can do Control P. Okay. Um, if I go down to the line, Control N, and I want to move forward, I can do Control F. This will move me forward one character. I hit, keep hitting Control F here. Um, I'm just holding down Control and hitting F. If I want to go back, I can keep holding down Control and hit B. Okay like that. Now, if I want to go forward a word, I can do Alt-F or Meta-F, depending on your keyboard. Uh, and I go forward a word each time. And Alt-B goes back a word each time. Okay, so that's how I can move throughout the document. If I want to get to the end of a line, I can do Control-E. If I want to go back to the start of the line, I can do Control-A. Now, if I want to move to the end of a sentence, I can do Alt-E. Now, the sentence has to have two spaces in between the period and the text of the next sentence, okay? So just keep that in mind. I can do Alt-E to move to the end of this next sentence. And if I want to go back to the beginning of the sentence, I can do Alt-A, okay? Just like that. Now, if I want to move forward a paragraph, what I can do is alt and then the curly braces. And that'll move me forward a paragraph. So every time I do that, I move forward a paragraph. If And that's the closing curly braces. If I want to move back a paragraph, I can do Alt-Shift and the opening curly braces. And that'll move me up a paragraph. Okay. Now, if I'm going to go down a little bit, I can scroll down with Control-V. And that's like page down. And if I go down to about line, I think it was 80, uh, you'll see that it says for, for a video on the topic, please check out the video below. Now, this was part of a blog post where I had a YouTube video embedded into this page. And then below that, you'll see using GIMP to make a YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so what I want to do here is go control N to go down that line. And I want to do a page break. And I can do that with control K, which is quote inserted command. So I can do, uh, I can also do meta X and do quoted and then a space insert and hit enter. And then uh, you'll see down at the bottom, it says MX quoted insert return. And I can do control L and that's going to give me a page break. Okay. So now that I have a page break inserted, if I go to the end of this document with alt shift period or alt uh, forward arrow, um, I can go back up to the start of the page with control X and then the opening square bracket. So I can do control X and opening square bracket. That's going to go up to the page break. If I do control X opening square bracket, I go up to the, the next page. If I want to go down a page, I can do Control X and then the closing square bracket. That goes down to this um, the little up arrow on the L. That indicates a page break in Emacs. Okay. Um, let's see what else we're going to talk about. So uh, if I want to go to a particular line, let's say I want to go to line 20. I can do Alt G, Alt G, and then I have this command at the bottom. So Alt G twice go to line. And let's say I want to go to line 20. I'll type 20 and hit enter. And it brings me to line 20 in the document. Okay, so that's a great way to move around. Now let's say I want to go to a character. Well, I can do Alt X and then go to 
uh, space and character. And you'll see that Emacs, when I do that, it puts in the little hyphen there in between go to and character. Hit enter. Uh, and maybe I spelled it wrong. Let me type go to and hit tab. And I can see the completions. Uh, oh, sorry, not character, C-H-A-R for character. Okay, so you don't spell out the whole word character. You just type C-H-A-R. Now, notice what I did there. I wasn't sure on the command, so I hit the tab, and it gave me the possible commands that I could use. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, I'm going to hit Enter. And let's say I want to go to the 200th character of this document. I can type 200 and hit Enter, and you'll see in line 3, uh, in documents, the E is the 200th character in this document. Okay, so that's it. if you're programming, you want to go to a specific character where you see an error in your code, that's very helpful. Or if you're just writing and you want to go to a particular line or a particular character, know that that's easily built into default Emacs and you can easily get there if you want to. Okay, um, <clears throat> I can also do Alt, hold down Alt, type a number and then type a command and it'll repeat that command the amount of numbers I type. So if I do alt type 20 and I'm still holding down alt and then do control N, it's going to move me down 20 lines. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you can also do that with control U and then type 20 and then control N and that'll bring you down 20 lines. Uh, in your document, or however many you type. You could type any type of number. It could be 45, 1, <laughs> probably wouldn't do it with 1, but 100, whatever. Okay, uh, so that's ways to repeat a command. Okay, if you're going down the document, let's say I'm going down here, and I want to center the line that I'm on so I can see it in the middle of the screen, I can do Control L, and that'll center the line I'm on in the screen, help me more focus on what I'm writing, or editing at that point. So it's a very useful tool for editing text, I think. Um, okay, if I want to undo something. Now, let me talk about deleting. I can delete a word with Alt-D. So let's say I delete the, and I say, uh, I want to undo that. Well, I can do Control and then an underscore, or I can do Control-X-U. So let's do Control and underscore. That'll bring back the. If I do Alt-D, that deletes it again, and I do Control X U. That will undo it again. So two ways to undo something. Um, again, I talked about Alt D that deletes a word. Control D deletes a character. Okay, let's bring that back with Control X U. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about the backspace. The backspace just deletes like the typical backspace. So that's not unlike any other thing, or there are many programs that work like that. Uh, control backspace, control backspace will delete the previous word. So if I want to delete the, I can do control and backspace, and I deleted the. I want to bring that back, I'm going to do control underscore here to bring it back, okay? Um, let's see, control K, if I go to the beginning of the line, do control K, that's going to delete the line. Now, it's going to leave a blank space. So typically, you want to do Control-K twice to fully delete a line. So I can do Control-K again, and that's going to delete the line again. And it's going to put it in something that Emacs calls the kill ring. Okay, And within the kill ring, um, you, you can uh, have, I think by default, up to 30 deletions. So if I hit Control-K twice, that still counts as one deletion. Um, but if I do, let's see, say like control D, which is deleting a single character, that doesn't count as a killing a character, that's just deleting a character. So that breaks the kill cycle and it will end the current uh, thing that you're putting into the kill buffer. Okay, you can have the last 30 kill um, kills into your kill buffer when you do that. And to bring them back, you can do Control Y, okay, and that'll bring it back. Now you can modify the amount you store in the kill buffer, um, but for right now, know that you can store more than one, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, we can also mark text. 
So let me go up with control P and go to the end of this line with control E. And to mark text, I'm gonna do control space and I'm gonna do control P and control A. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Control A, let's go to the start of the line. And I'm going to do Alt W to copy the text and go to the end here and do Control Y. And I just pasted that text that I copied. Now, you may not see that in that theme as well. Uh, so let me change themes here with Alt X. I'm going to go into Customize Themes. Let's change to a dark theme here. We'll go down. I've downloaded a few of them. Um, I like Desert. Let's try that. So we'll go to Desert. Go back to our file. We'll go to Dear Ed with Control X D. And I created a folder called editing. You create a, file, a folder in Emacs when you're in dear ed by doing uh, the plus sign, which is basically shift and hitting the plus equal key by the backspace. So if I wanted to create another folder, I could do shift plus uh, and create a folder called editing two and hit enter. And that would create another folder. If I want to delete a folder, I can do D and then X and delete editing two. I'm going to say yes. And it's done. Now, if there's stuff in it, it's going to ask you if you want to delete that recursively, and you also have to say yes. Anyways, I got a little on a little side tangent there. Let's go back into editing here, and let's do G to update it. You'll see I have this sample.txt and a couple other backup files there. I'm going to go back into my sample.txt, and let's do Control Space again, so you can actually see this. And now you, I think you can see this pretty well. And let's actually center this. So we'll center that line, but with control L. And what I can do is I can cut it with control W. That puts it in the killer ring. I can go back to the top of the document with alt shift comma here and maybe go down the line and paste it with control Y. Okay. And maybe I want to space it out like that. Control E to get to the end of the line. And I've got that uh, paragraph moved up there. Okay, so that's how I set a mark. Um, so we talked about Control W, that puts it in the kill region. Alt W just copies it, but also puts it in the, the uh, kill buffer. Um, control Y is, that stands for yanking. It's a little different than Vim. Vim, when you yank something, it like copies it in, and then you do P to paste. With Emacs, when you yank something, it's actually pasting it back in. It's yanking it back in. So. I'm pasting it back in with control Y. So I just pasted it back in the same thing. Okay. So that was control Y. Okay. Uh, all right. Another thing we can do, let's do a mark here. So we'll do control space, go down a line to the end of this line. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back. Let's go back a character and let's do control X, control X, which is exchange point and mark. So control X, control X, and you'll see my cursor moves right to the beginning of this highlighted region. And because I moved back, you'll see that I'm not copying this period. Okay. So if I do alt W, uh, no, I did control W. Let me do control Y. Uh, let's do that again. And let's do alt W. Okay. And we'll go to the end of the line here. And do control Y to paste. You'll see it paste back, but without, if I do control B to move back, I don't have my period there. Okay. So you can see with some of the themes, it really holds the mark pretty well. Um, okay. And we talked about the kill ring. Okay. Two more things I want to talk about, and I think that's enough, and I don't want to overwhelm you, but uh, I'm going to do control H and then V. And then that's describe variable. So if I say something like find file, it's going, and I hit enter, uh, it's going to give me potential ones that I can do here. Let's do find file hook, okay? Okay, so find file hook will give me um, some information about the variable that I'm looking for, okay? I can also, let's, now I can, go here with my mouse, uh, and I can also go back here and do control X one and close out that window. Um, what I can also do is control H F and that's describe function. So let's try find file again, and we'll see that find file is bound to control X control F. So, so you create a, a file, uh, and then the, the menu bar as well. And it tells you some stuff about the file. So that's an interesting way you can discover some of these, 
key bindings within Emacs if you really want to start to explore with the help option. Okay. So that was a lot. That was a lot of stuff that you can do with editing, but I hope what this demonstrates is the power and efficiency that once you start to learn this stuff, maybe you learn a few things each day, you become extremely efficient with editing using Emacs. It's a very powerful text editor. I know the joke is that uh, it's a great operating system with an, an, it just needs a good text editor, but it's an, in reality, it's an excellent text editor. Um, so in the description, you'll see all the commands that we went through today. I'll include a link to that file, as well as a link to the sample.txt file for you to download and play with. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.